Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Java in your MacBook Pro. So at first, let's go to Java Installer Oracle. Click on the first link there. And over here, if you go down, we will install JDK version 21. And over here, if you come, you'll see three options. We'll click on Mac OS. And over here, we'll focus on these two DMZ installers. So if you are using Mac M1 M2 chip, then you can install this ARM64 DMZ installer. And if your Mac has Intel chip, then you can install this X64 DMZ installer. You can check your Mac, which chip your Mac is using by just going, clicking on this icon on your top left about this Mac. And here you'll see that my MacBook Pro is using Intel chip. So I'll for this tutorial, I'll download the x64 DMZ installer. So let's click on this link and allow the download. Once the download is complete, let's open that DMZ file and let's wait for it to get installed. Once the installation is done, now let's check it. We'll open terminal and over here we'll check Java Dusters version. Over here you can see that Java has been installed. And for this tutorial, I'll be using Eclipse as a code editor. So we will go, let's open now, let's open a new tab and search for Eclipse Downloader and Eclipse IDE Foundation. And over here, you can see that we have an installer for click on that and download it. Now once the installation is complete, you can select Eclipse IDE for Java developers and just install it over here and you need to agree all the terms and conditions, accept it and let's wait for the installation to complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on launch. You can click on launch. Okay, so here we can see that our code editor has been installed. Now let's create a new Java project and project name will give it as demo demo use the default location and really is Java 17 and we'll keep everything as default. Let's go to next and then do finish. Now let's open this file. Let's go inside this source folder and create a new file. We will class and we will name this class as hello world. Finish. Let's go in here and simply paste this code. Hello world and then to save it. Now let's run this code. Proceed. And over here you can see that Hello World has been printed. Thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.